Hey everyone, Hasan here with another Resha Sentai Tokyo review for you today. This is the Deluxe Safari Gao. This is a movie exclusive toy. This is from the Tokyo movie. I forget what the movie is called exactly. Um, so this will not be on the show, or sometimes they put the movie stuff on the show for like an episode or something. Uh, but it's mainly the special mecha for the movie. But I figured, you know what? I'm gonna buy it anyways because it's more Russia to collect, um, and it's it's exclusive to Tokyo. You know what I mean? Like I'm not collecting the Sentai Russia. Um, because those are based on previous Sentai, but this is from Tokyo, uh, even just the movie itself, but it's still pretty cool, so I wanted to collect it, and here it is! So, uh, these are the five Resha that it comes with, and we'll take a look at them all in just a second, so I'll kind of move them off to the side here, and let's take a quick look at the packaging. So, um, as you can see, Safari Gao is very similar to Tokyo, except it also has one other mode, which is kind of like this big uh, lion mode, essentially. So um, that's the, the one little thing here with it. Um, you're able to kind of form this little giant lion, which is kind of neat. Um, but here it is. There's the top, and it kind of shows the, the train all together. Um, so you can do that as well. The bottom uh, shows you that stuff. The side shows you the five uh, Resha that it comes with and how it combines into that. And then the other side shows you how it can combine into like the Megazord mode or whatever they call it. Uh, so there you have it. So there's kind of a summary right there. So you can use this with the Tokyo Changer as well. Um, although one little uh, caveat with that, which um, we'll get to right now actually. So let's kind of look at that. Um, so with this, um, you have five different Resha here, right? So you have a lion. Uh, oops. Can't even see with the camera, so let me adjust. My bad. Uh, so you have the lion right here. Uh, you have the alligator. You have the cat. Um, you have the eagle right here. And then, of course, you have the panda. So you have those five. However, using it in the Tokyo Changer, it, they all have only the same sound, essentially. So if I take out the, uh, the actual Resha pieces for each of them, um, I'll show you. It's all the same sound. So if I grab any one of these, you look at the bottom, it has the same knobs right there. So they all say Safari Resha in the Tokyo Changer, which is a little disappointing because I was, I was really hoping that it would like say, you know, like Alligator Resha or something or Panda Resha. I mean, that, that would have been fun, you know what I mean? Um, but unfortunately, it just says Safari Resha, which is still kind of neat but uh, you only get one sound in the Tokyo Changer, no matter which one you use. So I'm just gonna grab, I'll just grab the lion here, because I think that one uh, looks the coolest. So let's turn this on. I got this. So let's do the Henshin, and it'll default to Tokyo Ichigo, no matter, whoops. Uh, no matter which one you use, it'll default to Tokyo Ichigo. Uh, despite in the movie how they each use their own, uh, because it all uses the same sound, just defaults to Tokyo Ichigo. And let's summon the Resha. So you get a bunch of just random safari sounds, like an elephant and other stuff. Um, just, you know, this is kind of neat, I guess, just random safari sounds. Uh, and you can transfer trains just like any other one here. So I'll transfer this, you know, and let's uh, switch over to... I'll just grab the build Resha. So you can transfer trains and, and, you know, all the same kind of fun stuff that you can do there. But uh, that's that, you know, essentially they all play the same sound, which is a little disappointing, you know. Um, so let's kind of take a, an up-close look at each of these here. Um, here is the Lion Resha, um, and the gold they use is really nice. The blue is kind of a dull blue, it's not shiny or anything, it's, it's very dull. Um, some people may consider these, these Resha to be very plain because of the white color. And in some ways, it, it may seem, it, it does seem a little plain, but 
At the same time, the other colors that they use accent it kind of nicely, and, it, and it's okay. I'm not too bothered by it. Like, it doesn't really look unpainted to me, in a way. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I do like the gold that they used for it. Um, now, these pieces, I suppose you don't have to have them on the Resha. You can just have it like this. But if you wanted to store those other pieces, you know, you can, of course, store them on. So I'll just take, you know, this piece and just click it on there. And this piece just clicks on here. So we'll have that there. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think overall um, it looks pretty nice. And what you can do with this is I can break it up so you have the Resha piece here, right? And then this piece, I can pull out that and connect it like so. So instead of one long train, you know, you can kind of have it be two pieces there. Um, so that's one little thing that you can do. Um, and the same goes for, for these other ones as well. So um, here's the alligator Resha. So again, very plain looking. It's just mostly, you just have the color along the side. They're all blue on the bottom. And then you have like your main design up front there um, and the back a little bit as well. So um, that's kind of neat, I guess. And of course you can do the same thing, you know, here. And they'll all connect to each other, and you know, I'm not gonna do that full thing, but just like Tokyo, you have all of those same options to, to connect them all, just like that. So, uh, same thing there, which is nice, you know, it's, it's good to have that. But of course, the connectors are very weak, so you really, you mess with it too much, it's easily gonna fall out, and you can't really pull like one long train, you know, essentially. Um, I think I hear thunder, I hope the power doesn't go out or something. Uh, here is the Cat Resha. Um, so you have some nice pink right there, and of course your little cat ears and eyes and all that kind of stuff. Um, so very simple, but, you know, serves its purpose, I suppose. Um, we have the Eagle Resha. So again, uh, very similar, but there is the, the Eagle piece right there. There's that. Okay. And we have the Panda Resha. So this one is probably the most plain just because it's like black and white there, but uh, there's your little panda face on the, the front of the train. Looks kind of funny. Uh, it's just like having a panda face right there on the train. Um, actually, any of these, even the cat, it just looks kind of funny. But uh, there's that. So, uh, like I said, these are modeled very much after Tokyo O. So I wanted to actually get the, the uh, those Resha in here and kind of compare. So here's the red Resha. So Tokyo Ichigo uses the lion as well. Um, so you do have that comparison. Uh, Tokyo Nigo uses um, the uh, eagle Resha and blue Resha right there. Um, actually, if I kind of put the Tokyo O one on the side there. Tokyo Nigo, Tokyo Sango, Zango, something like that. I forget, I think Tokyo Sango. Um, so there's a yellow Resha, which is used by the... Uh, actually, I take that back. Tokyo, whatever the number three is, I forget how you pronounce it, actually uses the cat Resha, I believe. Um, and which it, it's off because, you know, this is yellow Resha, it's supposed to match, but for the yellow and pink, it doesn't actually match. Um, so like if I were to grab the pink Resha, uh, Tokyo Gogo uses the pink Resha, but Tokyo Gogo uses the panda. So that that's, does not match. I don't know why they did that, but that's according to, I have not seen the movie or anything. That's according to um, the Super Sentai Wiki that I saw online that said that. Um, and then Tokyo Yongo um, uses the alligator right there. So that matches the green and green. So there you have all of those, Resha. So again, as you can see, they're very similarly modeled. Um, the main difference being, well, obviously these top parts here, but then you have the... Um, I can't remember if this is supposed to be forward or not, so that ignore that part. But like the front piece is really the main difference, especially on the red Resha and the lion Resha. Those are very different, uh, at least in terms of the design. But the the rest of it, like from here on, is basically the same. Um, you know, like I can tell you, I can grab right here this, and you can pretty much see it's like the same thing almost. They just uh, actually no, this is pretty much the exact same. They just changed the paint on it. Like this design is literally. Um, like the same thing. So, 
Uh, that's that's basically their way of saving costs. You know, they wanted to create a mecha for the movie, but they wanted to save costs. So there you have it right there. It's the exact same thing, but just, you know, different paints on it. Uh, and the thunder is really picking up outside, so I'm, I'm hoping the light doesn't go out or anything. So again, with the rest of them, it's the same exact design, same thing. They just literally painted it differently. Um, so the only one that has somewhat of a difference is red and the lion. So same thing going on there. So anyways, uh, I'll move these guys um, out of the way here. And we'll do comparisons and all that fun stuff later. But, so now we have these guys, right? So what else can you do with them? Well, you can combine them. So first things first, you can actually combine them to a special exclusive mode to this uh, Safari Russia um, package here. So you're gonna take off these pieces first, all right? So you're left with that. I'm gonna kinda lift this up a little bit. Okay. And then you're gonna connect it just like you normally would with Tokyo. So those pieces connect on just like that. And it's just like one massive white piece there. Um, now if I were gonna create like the mecha mode, then you would kinda connect them just like you normally would. But uh, I'm actually gonna change it to that giant, uh, the lion um, that you can do. So to do that, you're gonna disconnect the, the lion Russia right there. And then with these guys, um, you're essentially going to, uh, um, oh wait, looking at the, uh, the wrong, uh, wrong side there, aren't I? Um, right, hold on. Sorry. Uh, this piece here, I am doing this wrong. I can't remember half the, you know, the transformations for half these things, essentially. Um, but first things first, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to take these pieces and rotate them around, okay? So I'll rotate it like that. And then they're going to fold downwards. Okay. And... Oh yeah, so that's, I was doing it right. I'm looking at, sorry, I'm looking at the, right here. so you are going to take it off and you're actually going to take off uh, these pieces as well. So I'm going to detach the eagle and the alligator. So that, so back to this side. So you're going to fold that down and then uh, this piece here is going to fold up like so. Okay, so you're left with that. Um, then I'm going to take this here and I'm actually going to take apart these things. So all I need right now is this white block. And what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to set it so these attachments go right into there, like that. Okay? So I'm left with that, and now I'm going to take these guys and, you know, switch them to the feet, and obviously the, the orange goes on the orange side, and then the green on the green side. So you're left with this right now, okay? Uh, then the next thing that you are going to do is you're going to take the cat, okay, and attach it on, and then the panda, and attach that on. So right now it's sitting up like that, right? And let me grab that piece. Okay. I'm trying to like stand up and do this and it's hurting my legs. Um, so then you're going to take the lion and fold it in and then you're going to take this piece here and it's going to attach on to the bottom and click into place like that. Then this piece is going to attach with those prongs, it's going to attach right into there. Like so. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take um, these little claw pieces and they're basically going to go inside the, the hands there as if it's going to hold them in place like that. And last but not least you have the tail right here um, which is supposed to go like this. I believe. Yes. Yeah. So this kind of attaches uh, in, wait, that's not right. 
Oh, like that. Okay, there we go. I was like, what is going on? That's not right. So there you go, just like that. And here, folks, you have kind of like the, the full lion mode right here. Um, and it looks kind of interesting. Uh, it, it is very white, so it does kind of blend in in a way. And, and I posted a picture on Twitter, and somebody was like, you know, it looks like Legos. Uh, and I guess it kind of does, just because everything seems so white, and, and it's uh, just the, the whole design of it is a little odd. Um, but I guess it's kind of neat to have an extra mode, because like Tokyo had the trains, and they all combined to make one, you know, mecha. But this has that lion mode in between, you know, in a way. So that's kind of nice to have that extra thing that you can do with it. Um, so... You know, I think it does look kind of neat. I think the white looks a bit more odd on this mode because the white is very prominent, like up top. The, the colors just almost highlight it. So I think in that sense, it makes it look kind of odd in this mode. Um, but uh, still overall, like the front piece is kind of cool and everything, what they did there. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, so that's, that's that right there. So uh, it doesn't like roll or do anything like that because all the wheels are not uh, at the bottom or anything, but it just kind of stands there and it looks kind of menacing, Rawr, and you know, whatever, I don't know. But uh, there's kind of that line mode, so that's that's kind of neat. And I, I was playing around with this to see if I could get one of the, you know, the other mecha to like ride on it or something. So I was like messing with the legs on the build Russia and just trying to like pretend and like take a picture as if he was like, I don't know. So you can, if you look at it from that, like he's like kind of, you know, ride, taming the lion or something. So I don't know. You can have some fun with, with some of those guys, I guess. So, uh, there's that. Um, now, of course, you can then make, like, the full mecha. And so to do that, you're first going to detach this front part. And you're going to detach this, as well as this whole piece here. Okay. And then you're going to detach the legs, like that. And you're going to attach the legs onto the main body. And the legs do move apart slightly, just like Tokyo does. Okay. Then, uh, I'll fold these down, like so. And uh, what you will notice with these is, well, you're gonna, first of all, you're gonna rotate them sideways like you normally would, and then you can fold that in like so. So you're gonna rotate the hand sideways and fold it in like so. So it's as if it's just holding claws like that, essentially. So it goes down like that. Uh, then what you're gonna do is the this piece is going to then attach on so I'll lift up the piece there and attach that and click and it's clicked on like so okay uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to take this back piece and slide it up and click it in like so and then lastly you're going to take this like white block piece right here and all you really do is it just kind of attaches on to the back here. So you have the, the two, you'll use the two holes right there with the prongs and just kind of click it on like so and it just kind of sits on the back there. Now if you did not want to, um, well I guess let me, let me just attach it on the back and then I'll explain. Um, so this can go in the back right there and it clicks down. So it's like a little tail that he kind of has. Um, and this folks right here this is Safari Gao. Um, and it is very uh, white, uh, as you can see. You really don't notice the colors until you turn it sideways. So, straight on, I am not the biggest fan of it because it just looks very plain. But look at it from the side, it's actually not too bad. It's okay, you know? I, I, I don't mind the side look because all the different colors and stuff is kind of neat. Um, and you know, like this, this look here is, is okay. Um, but just from the front, it's so plain. You know what I mean? It's just, it's so plain. Um, and so that's just, that's my one little complaint about that. I, I mean, I, I guess they want to do something different, but just white, I don't know, you know? The actual uh, designs of everything, you know, I think this lion piece looks great. Um, the, the helmet piece looks pretty cool too, you know? But I just, I'm not really the biggest fan of this, what they did here. It's just like a giant block. It feels like there should be something more, like something behind here, something there, you know what I mean? So that part just seems like something is missing there. But um, other than that, you know, I think overall it looks pretty good. Um, now, you can use that, like, tail as a sword as well. So all you have to do, though, is you have to take off the, the claw piece, because 
that's where you would put it. And then you just kind of grab it from the back here and there you go. Ta-da, so there you have it, like so. So there's not really another place for this to go. It just kind of moves off to the side and he has his little sword tail thing. Uh, his tail sword, yay. Uh, so that is um, that part right there. So I'll kind of reconnect that back here. So that is Safari Go. Oh, um, you know, overall, it's it's okay. Um, I think that if you are a collector, you know, if you're trying to get all the different Resha, I think this is one to get because, you know, you have some, some Resha. And while they're very similar to Tokyo, um, they do look somewhat different, especially this, the lion looks looks kind of different. I think that one especially. And you get one extra little sound on the Tokyo Changer of the Safari Resha, you know, so that you do have that part to it as well. Um, but uh, other than that, you know, I like the lion combination. I like that it's possible to have that combination. But the Megazord combination is okay. Uh, nothing too fancy. Uh, the side view is nice, so I guess if you're going to display it, display it like that. Um, but it's it's an interesting take, an interesting alternative take on Tokyo in a way. Um, the if you're just trying to get everything from the show, I mean, you can skip this. You're not you're not really missing out on much if you skip it, you know. Um, so there's that. I mean, this is probably like a limited kind of thing because it's for the movie. So you do keep that in mind if you are a collector. If you do want to get it, then you would want to get it sooner rather than later. Um, so there's that. But, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any specific questions or anything, please post them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them for you. Uh, the last thing that I want to do here is a uh, quick little comparison of, uh, of all of this with, like, Tokyo and everything. Uh, just to kind of see, you know, what it really... Um, what it all really looks like, completed and finalized and, and uh, having all those together. So I'll grab, here's the Build.io right here. So those are the two latest. I've done a review of Build.io. You can check that out uh, and, uh, and see what that's all about. Um, but uh, there's that. And I think, you know, Build.io is, is my favorite. That, that one is, is great. And Safari Go, um, yeah, looks okay next to it, I guess. Um, nothing too, too fancy there. I'm like quick transforming Tokyo while I talk. Um, so I do like how you can quickly transform some of this stuff too. Uh, so here now is Tokyo. So for comparison's sake, as you can see, they're very similar in design, very similar. Um, this just is a bit more bulkier because of this piece here, and then the back like thing on there, and then obviously you have the claws sticking out, which makes that bigger. Um, so from the side there, uh, very similar, except for, like I said, like you have the chunk there and, and all that. But um, otherwise, it's the same design, and there you have it. And I, and I like Tokyo a little bit better because the colors. Um, but at the same time, you do have some other interesting designs going on there. So it is an interesting alternative take. Um, the worst of the bunch is, is Diesel O, in my opinion. But um, here they all are together. So, you know, if you wanted to kind of get them all side by side and kind of see a full lineup of the Tokyuger mecha. There you go, folks. There is that. Um, so, again, if you have any other questions, please post them in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I will continue to buy uh, the Tokyuger uh, Resha and, and kind of do all my reviews of all of those. I think the Hyper Resha or something like all that Hyper stuff is coming in the future. So I will be buying those as they release and uh, reviewing them also. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you guys later. As usual, I tend to always forget one thing. So uh, what I wanted to show with this actually is, like with Tokyo and the others, you can uh, you know combine with some of the other stuff. Actually, I'll leave this one on for now and uh, I'll grab like the uh, here's the shield Russia. So you can add some color to here. And it, I feel like these look a bit more odd though than they do on Tokyo because Tokyo is so colorful. Adding more color just makes it more interesting. This just makes it really stick out. So I think that just looks kind of odd uh, there. Um, here's the drill, Russia. That one actually kind of fits in because the blue is very, very much uh, the same blue, I think, and the gold and everything. So that actually matches pretty nicely. Um, so, hmm, what do you know? Um, I'll just, no, that one's not the deluxe one there. The, um, uh, let's kind of take off the claw here and put the little 
So this is the fire resha, I have the fire extinguisher there, and then the other piece goes here. Um, so looks kind of odd because of the, the added color and stuff, but you know, it's nice to at least have that mix and match ability, I guess. That's always fun. Let's take that off. And then what you can also do, of course, is the uh, police Russia. Whoops. Now this one fits very nicely because this one is plenty white and it has some gray and stuff on it and the blue fits very nicely. This one actually fits very well. Uh, and I actually really like that because it's kind of neat looking. It's like Safari has like, you know, the blaster and everything. So that's actually pretty cool. I, I dig that. Um, so if you want a cool little combination, get Safari Go and the Police Russia. Um, pretty neat. Pretty neat. You can maybe even have the blaster on one side and then take the sword out and, you know, kind of do that as well and have some, some fun with all those customizations. But anyways, that's just another minor little thing that I wanted to show. Um, doesn't really change my opinions on it that much, but it's just... Um, you know, another little feature that you can do, of course. And now I can't really combine them all back. Let's go, come on, there we go. Uh, so, that is Safari Go. Oh, again, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all later.